American Top 40, listen to this. Jerry. 25 years ago, that song launched a string of 45 hits for the number one American male group in chart history. And they're still working. Our tribute on their 25th anniversary is coming up. The hits from coast to coast. American Top 40. Now the biggest American male group of the rock and roll years. They had 13 songs in the top 10, and four of them were number one. Quite a few of their hits had short one-word titles such as Begging, Ronnie, Dawn, Alone, Stay, and Sherry. At number eight in the rankings, here are the four seasons. I guess the 1960s will be remembered for giving us short skirts and long hair, big missiles and small cars, and a pop vocal group whose lead singer had a falsetto voice that could shatter plate glass windows or sell a million records just about any time its owner felt like cutting loose. His name is Frankie Valley, and fortunately for his associates, he felt like it often enough to let them hit the chart 35 times in eight years, 13 of those in the top 10, and four at number one which makes them the 26th biggest recording act of the rock and roll era. This one's from 1965. Let's hang on. The Four Seasons. There ain't no good in our goodbye. At number 26 in our exclusive newly tabulated countdown of the 40 top recording acts of the rock and roll era, the Four Seasons. American Top 40. Well, now in American Top 40, it's time for the new number one song by an artist who becomes the third male solo singer in the last six months to return to the chart after a long absence and go all the way to the top with his comeback hit. Several months ago, Paul Anka started the big comeback trend by hitting number one with his first chart record in five and a half years. That was You're Having My Baby. He was followed by a top singer of the late 50s and early 60s, whose return to the charts in February of this year was even more dramatic. After a dry spell of 11 years, Neil Sedaka returned to hit the top with Laughter in the Rain. And this week, a third singer pulls it off. Although he's had several chart hits as a solo artist, his last appearance in the 40 was seven years ago as the lead singer for one of the most successful vocal groups of the 60s, the Four Seasons, and they got to number 24 with Will You Love Me Tomorrow. But this week, he moves into the top spot once again on his own. At number one, here's Frankie Valley and My Eyes Adored You. American Top 40. Here's a singer who's had an interesting career. He's charted 36 times with the Four Seasons. He's charted eight times by himself, and he did it four times with a group who were really the Four Seasons, who called themselves the Wonder Who. Got as high as number 12 in 1965 with Don't Think Twice. That's where he really used a high voice. Here he is, Frankie Valley, soloing this time with Swearing to God. American Top 40. Well, now in American Top 40, it's time for the current smash by a popular vocal group whose biggest hit, a number one song, was inspired by a scene from an old movie. It was an obscure 1930s-style melodrama that came on the Late Late Show on television in New York City one night back in 1962. One of the viewers in the TV audience was writer-producer Bob Crew. He'd been working for several hours trying to come up with a song for the follow-up to the first number one smash he'd produced for this group, called Sherry, but the words weren't coming. Bob fell asleep on the couch in front of the TV. And when he woke up, it was right in the middle of the big emotional scene in the film, where the male star slapped his pretty female co-star across the face. And to Bob's delight and good fortune, she replied, Big girls don't cry. Big girls. <laughs> they don't cry. Big Well, he loved the line, and along with former group member Bob Gaudio, he turned it into a pop song that became the biggest number one song the Four Seasons have ever had. This week, they fall seven notches with a song that just missed number one. Last week, it peaked at number three. At number ten on the countdown in American Top 40, here are the Four Seasons and Who Loves You? Who loves you? 